the uh, keeps coming into my yard and uh, Yeah, I say he could be she, I'm not sure, but just plods around and then seems comfortable enough to just rest here. So I've got a funny feeling this bird, I think it's a wren, just it's a really, really, really old soul inhabits the bird, the avatar and it just plods around just minding its own business, doesn't really the other birds come in and um, it, it sort of pecks at the granules or grains that are on the floor and then it will just stop and close its eyes and and just sort of meditate like with its eyes shut still facing forward and then sometimes like now it completely sort of roosts it's like sleeping and I'm right next to it in literally there. And he's just it's blacky. Black bird. All the other birds are coming in. This little one. Okay. This little one. I'm pretty sure it's a red. And I was lying here earlier on and I had my sort of hands over each other and then my chin on top of them and it just come walking right up to my face, looked at me in the eyes and just didn't even bat an eyelid. So either I'm dead or it's dead or we're just on the same complete wavelength and I believe birds are on birds are in the fifth dimension so if I, I can get this close to a bird and it feels as safe as it does in this area and all the other birds talk to me as well plus the mice and the hedgehogs see um, then I think that proves that Possibly, I'm on the same wavelength as, there you go, just plod around, <laughs> it's like, um, we're on the same wavelength, I don't know, fifth dimension, another dimension, maybe we're all just part of the computer program, like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, there's Brownie. Yeah. Brownie. She'll come in. She's the female of the blackbirds. She's matriarchal, I think. See this little guy? He's just cute as hell. I mean, well, cute. I shouldn't say hell. But... Hello, mate. Mate. So if anyone can tell me if they can confirm that that's a wren, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. He's sleepy, it's like he's been out alive for was like the leader or the only one of its own existence the last one left as it were I don't know, it's weird <laughs> it's just 
the way it just walks around though, he just, I say he, I'm going to call him he, he just plods around, he's just like, yeah, yes, everything's cool, I'll just sleep while I eat as well, <laughs> it's funny. She's just above. You got the feeding bay just there. The feeder. She was just there. That's why those seeds were coming down. So this little guy. I wonder if I can reach out to it. between my fingers of it. Look at that. So we're on the same wavelength. in Africa. Hang on. Um, I made friends with this water buffalo in Africa. I was uh, in a place called where was it? Lua Downs National Park. Training the anti poaching team. And I crawled up to a water buffalo, just a solitary water buffalo, and made friends with it. You might have seen the picture. Um, but yeah, I was all one, we're all together. We should be looking after each other. That's why I feed these guys. They got water and food. So yeah, so you go to sleep there. You're gonna go to sleep, mate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there you go. So that's um. Good on you, and love out to you all.
Jig out.